Hello, hello, hello gang. Welcome back to the channel. Jay Wower here and it's another Football Manager 2023 experiment. And today we're looking at defenders and strikers with maximum potential ability, but all their attributes are wrong. Let me tell you about it. Yeah, so what I've done is I've created three defenders and three forwards. Current ability, I've tried to get it as close and as even as possible. 100 for the defenders and 97 for the forwards. Now, let's have a look at the defender. First defender. As you can see, his attributes are as such. He's got one for marking, one for tackling, 20 for finishing, 20 for dribbling, 20 for crossing, 20 composure. Basically, I've made him as good of a striker as he can be. 15 on the, the physicals, otherwise they would be too rubbish. Because if you look, uh, attribute details, so his current recommended current ability is 100. If I change him to a striker, he's actually a recommended ability of 175. But we're not going to do that. So what we've done is we've got three defenders like this, all basically world-class strikers. And I've got three strikers who are basically world-class defenders. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of weird ones, a lot of weird 20s, but I just wanted to know if the AI are going to play them in these positions because they're that good, um, or if they're actually going to try and train them in other positions. Now, what's important to note is the hidden attributes. Adaptability is one. Loyalty is one. Versatility is also one. So I'm going to make it very difficult for the AI to try and make positional changes for these six players. Will it happen? Probably. It probably will. But I'm interested to see how it goes. Hopefully you are too. If you do like these kind of videos and these kind of weird sort of experiments, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's lots more coming and there's lots more already there. So go and have a binge after you've watched this one. I'm just going to jump through one year to begin with, see how we're getting on. So, as you can see here, Defender 1 has gone to Blackburn Rovers. Let's just move this across. Uh, Defender 2 is at Watford. Defender 3 is at Wigan. Forward 1 is at Shrewsbury. Forward 2 is at Fulham. And Forward 3 is at Newcastle. And as you can see, they have all been played. In the corresponding position so if you look at defender one he's a makeshift striker a makeshift striker let's have a look at the statistics the attributes then so some of them have gone up like first touch heading decisions balance acceleration strength has all gone up forward one and forward two are both at 118 let's have a look then oh look he's got two for finishing three for penalty taking two for long shots and he is a unconvincing centre half but he did play 41 times scoring 12 goals for Shrewsbury but the all time appearances so he's the only so forward one is the only one that's been playing defender two played one game for Watford so instantly we're looking like they're going to be just retrained in those positions look at defender two all over the place playing him as a winger striker full back He'd make a good full back to be fair good crossing good dribbling decent pace Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump forward uh, seven years. So they're all 24. See how they're getting on. I bet they'll all be playing um, in the proper positions where they should be playing. Maybe moved on. Let's have a look and see where they've gone. See how they're getting on. In seven years. They're almost all there. So let's have a look. Defender 1 is playing for Arsenal and he can play striker as well as centre-back. He's improved a hell of a lot. And is he at 200? He is at 200. Of course he is. Uh, look at that. Look at that polygon. Wow. However, he's not scoring a lot of goals, is he? His tackling's at 6. His marking's at 10. Are they playing him as a centre-back? 49 caps and 5 goals. I think he's still playing as a defender. He's grown to 6 foot 4. He, he, there's no way he's... There's no way he's only scored 20 goals in 255 games if he is playing up front. Not with those stats. Right, forward one, playing for Liverpool. So where's he playing? He's not improved as much going forward. But he's meant to be a defender. 
He's now a natural at centre half. Whereas the other one was just accomplished. So he moved to Liverpool for £775,000. 43 caps and 11 goals. So he's got more goals. So is he still playing in the wrong position? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He, they are playing him at centre half. Christ alive. Oh, Patrick Vieira's managing Arsenal and playing defender one at centre half. Tit. Right, forward one, like Liverpool, where are you playing him? No, he's not showing there in the uh, in the team. Let's have a look at the schedule then. Right. They 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 won the Champions League final. And forward one played at centre back. Where you'd expect him to be playing with those attributes. So Liverpool have got it right. In the Champions League final, they played him in the correct position. Fair play, Liverpool. I'll just to quickly go and double check Arsenal. Defender one is playing at centre back, as you can see. Oh, Arsenal. Oh, Arsenal. When I saw they'd all changed position, and I saw that. Uh, that when they all saw that the, they started to change position to begin with, I thought, well, this experiment's going to just be boring. It's actually been far more entertaining than I realised. Uh, forward two, then, playing for Bayern Munich. Not really improved much as a forward. He is a natural centre-back. Is he playing there for them? Look at the amount of money they've got. Absolutely insane. What a weird formation that is. They lost to Dortmund in the final of the Cup. Where forward two played up top as a lone striker. Two finishing. Five off the ball. Ten composure. Yeah, he's got a bit of pace. Oh, Bayern Munich. Oh, God. It's, 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 it's causing shockwaves across Europe. Playing a player in the right position, you've got a superstar. Playing him in the wrong position, and it's a nightmare. Right, Defender 2 is playing for Man United. Again, Max. Again, unbelievable. Right, as a forward. He's only. He's only accomplished. 16 million they paid Watford for him. How much did Bayern pay for um, my guy? Oh! He went to Newcastle for 47 million and then Bayern paid 103. He's not scored that many goals for like New Fulham and he scored 10 for Newcastle. Is he was he playing up front? He might have been playing up front for Newcastle. One in 19. I'd like to think he was playing uh, defender for that season. Defender one. Didn't know if we did, did we look at that. 23 and a half million from Blackburn. Right. Uh, so defender two's at Manchester United. So this is just this has been a shambles this video it's been all over the place the, the the competency in this video is about as good as the competency of the managers using these players so it's very on brand isn't it the charismatic leader nine goals in 249 appearances playing him in defense he didn't score at all last season united senior squad i mean they've got yusuf from makoko fine he's great his old Yusufa. Look at him. Get him up front. They paid 16 million. Defender three is at Chelsea. Got 19 finishing. 6.25 million they spent from Wigan. 15 goals in 32. 13 in 36. He's, he's playing up front, right? He's got to be. Cristiano Ronaldo. Regen. How old's Kante? 39. Still got 20 work rate. That polygon. Right, schedule for Chelsea. Here he is, defender three, playing at centre back. He is playing at centre back. But then he played up front there. Against Arsenal. Oh, so he played up front and scored. After playing a load of games after. And, oh, we'll show you where to play him properly, they said to Arsenal. This is... I don't, I don't know what I would have rathered. They just... like just Would it have been dull to just look through the careers and see them all playing in the right positions? Probably. But this is really winding me up now. Oh. Hang on. 
Chelsea got him as well. Oh, they've just bought him from Newcastle for 107 million. I was going to say, I've just checked that. So they've now got two of them. What are England doing? Equal sixth. I'll tell you why they're equal sixth. So you've got a defender and a forward in at centre back. He should be at centre back. He should be up front. Forward two is up front for England. Forward one is at centre back and defender one is at centre back. Yeah. So in the World Cup final against France, oh, this is a bit soon, isn't it? Forward two. Yeah, so that's the team that's just played. So maybe it just happened. Two days ago. Literally two days ago. Oh, what a shambles this has been. Go through the end of the career. Came back in 2041. Because one of them retires. They're still all at exactly the same clubs. At 35, Arsenal, Liverpool, Bayern, United, Chelsea and Chelsea. The English Premier Division. Wow. The Chelsea, since for the last 10 years, Chelsea have won it every single year. At the FA Cup final against Arsenal. Let's have a look at the lineups. So, forward three has now got 10 finishing. Taking him to 35 years old to get to 10 finishing from one. Play him as a centre back. And of course, defender three. <laughs> Play the defence, just swap him over. Bloody hell. 95 caps, four goals for England. I mean, he scored two, to be fair. He did score two in the FA Cup final, so who am I to judge? He scored 476 goals. He's got 27, 26. He's prolific. I mean, he's got great positioning, good flair. He's got good attributes that can work as a forward. Don't get me wrong. Well, Chelsea have absolutely dominated the league. And it's been an English domination of the Champions League as well. Bayern Munich have won one back here. Chelsea have won quite a lot. Liverpool, how's your fella getting on? They lost to City in the Champions League final. With forward one leading the line. Eight finishing. God, he's gone grey, hasn't he? He just caught up to him. The most recent season, the only season he's got double figures. He must have been playing as a centre-back. He's got to have been. You can't be playing up front. You can't be playing up, uh, up front and scoring that few goals. Not to be finishing there or thereabouts in the league as well. And he won it a couple of times. There's no way. Is there? Defender 2, 33 career goals in 900 games. There's no way he's ever played up front. And that is sickening. Who's the manager? Rude Van Nistelrooy, who's been there for 18 years. Rude Van Nistelrooy's been... Eric Ten Hag lasted for five months. Got sacked. Steve McLaren came in for 26 days and then Ruud van Nistelrooy has been there for 18 years literally the rest of the rest of the um, simulation <laughs> play Ruud but why have you been playing him in the wrong position that's what I'm asking you hey Ruud as you can see the defenders defender 1 defender 2 and defender 3 have all scored career amount of goals 69 33 84 so all scored considerably less goals than the forwards 136, 192, 476. I don't think... I think they've probably played in multiple positions. I mean, forward three has been playing up front. He, he can tell he's been playing up front. Because one, he's lost the ability to play centre-half. And you look, he's got 20 goals every year. Got from an 18 and a 17. Uh, has he won the Ballon d'Or? Golden ball. Forward three has won the Golden Ball. One... Two, three, four, five times. Sorry if you can hear that, gang. There's, there's a prick outside beeping. Obnoxious bell end. Anyway. Five. Five Ballon d'Ors for uh, forward three. No one else is going to have come close, are they? Hey, Hendrik. 34 years old. He's alright, isn't he? 
So England are now ranked first. They're ranked first. They won the World Cup in 2038 and they came run up in 2030. Against Spain in this International League final. Forward three. Okay. He's scoring a lot for Chelsea. Yeah, 20, 75 caps and 24 goals. He is good, isn't he? He's done really well. He's defied the odds. He's, he's, he's the standout five time Ballon d'Or winner. And you've got two of the defenders in, in, the, in defence. Forward one did actually come on and score as well. Oh my God. In injury time, 93rd minute. No, extra time, sorry. Subbed on for Christopher Williams in the 48th minute. So he came on on the wing, did forward one. I don't know what's going on. I, don't know, I can't work it out. It looked like he came on for Williams and played on the wing and scored. But why would he be playing on the wing? United have played him at centre-half for 20 years. <laughs> oh, God. The semi-final. What happened in the semis? Forward three again, of course. Defender two and three. Yeah, so they're all there in the squad. They beat Holland in the final. With forward three and defender three both getting on the scoreboard. Defender one in the 119th minute against Italy. Forward three with two there. Oh, uh, this is this video. I don't even know where to end it. I think here is a good. I, Look at the state of me. I look exhausted. And I bet you're at home exhausted still. If you're still watching it, I salute you. Thank you so much. Please, if you've got to this point, please just leave a comment in some capacity about what you thought of this experiment. Um, I thought, I don't know what I expected from it. I thought it was going to be a shambles. I was interested. When I first started setting it up, I thought, I wonder what would happen. Then when I realised that I had to really sort of squiff the attributes, I was like, oh, I don't know if it'd be any good. I thought, I'll sim it and see what happens. And you're seeing my reaction live. I don't comb through and write a script. God, if I scripted these. It's, I'm lost for words. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. They've, they did, they haven't played, they, they've, they've retrained them in the position, but they've not played them there. I don't get it. The AI on Football Manager is so stupid. 69 goals in 975 appearances. How? He should get 69 goals every bloody season. 19 finishing. 18 composure. 18 off the ball. Flair. Leadership. 20s. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you've seen these attributes multiple times. and I've... Look at that polygon. Look at that bloody polygon. Look, player traits. Likes to lob keeper. You're playing him at centre half. What kind of traits that? Likes to beat your opponent repeatedly. What other traits have we got? That's how we're going to end it. Attempts over head kicks. Looks, looks for a pass rather than attempting to score. That makes sense. Stays back at all times. You're playing him up front. Stays back at all times. Oh, refrains from taking long shots because he can't take it. Fine. Runs with the ball down the right. Great for the player that plays down the middle. Ball finishing. Looks for a pass rather than attempt to score. Gets crowd going. Fine. Defender two. Likes to lob the keeper. Does not dive into tackles. Again, played at centre-half his entire career. Entire career. He's got 20 league goals. His highest haul was six for Watford. Other than that, he's not broken three. He's got three twice. One, two, three, four, five, six years he went without scoring a goal. In the league. Six calendar years. Likes to lob keeper. Likes to lock it. <laughs> Brings the ball out of defence. Should never be in defence. And of course, forward three. Lies tried to beat the offside trap. Fine. Looks for a pass rather than attempting to score. Knocks the ball past opponent. Gets crowd going. Oh, right. 
I don't know where we are with this now. Yeah, so please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more coming. Some great, some of it might be as bad as this. But hey, come along for the ride. We had some fun, right? Let me know what you thought of it. If you've got any ideas, again, comments down below. Please uh, let me know. Let me know. Oh, See you soon. What a shambles.